we know how to do the call to action elements like buttons, links, how do we actually use them if we have a bit more content related type of objects, let's say tabs. In this specific example, uh, let's say I have an app imported as a design. As you can see, I have two tabs which are in pill shaped. At the moment, pressed inversion is remediation options. If I would just preview it, by default, of course, it wouldn't do nothing because it's just a static layout, you know, have some options. How can we make this more interactive? And really, it's all about dynamic panels. The easiest option would be just to convert everything into dynamic panel because you have just two options. Let's convert into dynamic panel and call it that. So let's call it tabs. Uh, as a state one, that option is active. If we duplicate and add state two, we can then make you know the other options clickable. So let's say if I simply reverse the order of a thing. So now, as you can see, the, the second tab became active. As I said, I just want it to be text. And, and some image. So let's say if I'm gonna just drag in a placeholder image, imagine that it's some sort of something related to the subject. I'm gonna add some text underneath it. Now I have two states. So now you have a dynamic panel, but all it's waiting for is for you to come in and make a change happen. And how we can make, you know, there is no right way to do this. How I would do this, because it's a simple case of just two switches, I would find something called hotspot in the libraries. I would drag one by one, for example, on that tab and a copy on the other tab. And hotspot is basically like a ghost call to action element, which allows you to click in into different things. Uh, without assigning it to a specific object. So you, let's say if you put it as a layer on top, you can always give it interaction and logic to, to affect other items. So let's say if we click on that, we need a new interaction on click, uh, set panel state, and let's say tabs into state one. And if we click on the other one, on click, set panel state, tabs state two, that's it. We have our tabs ready at a really basic level. So now if I would click uh, on that or that, as you can see, I mixed up the content inside, but the tabs still work. And that's how you can do the tabs. Uh, let me demonstrate how it could work. Like if let's say we have three tabs, I would need to increase it, the width of, of our um, prototype. I would just probably want to delete one of the states because I don't really need it anymore. I want to maybe delete tabs and just have something really simple. So our web app or our mobile app now has three tabs, uh, just one state, but we can always make it clickable. Either make three states at hotspots on top as before and just have three states, or we can even take the tab triggers out make just the content into the states. Let me just show you. Let's say state two has no image, but just text. And state three has something totally different, like that image placeholder. Now we have just a content block. But imagine if I have a limited amount of tabs like this, what I could do is create a dynamic panel out of the tabs itself, out of the triggers, like this. And in the same way as the content, I could just create three different states and just move, let's say, some sort of trigger or active state across. Or even another way is just to make dynamic panel out of the trigger and just move the position, which is more advanced, which I can cover in other videos. But let's keep it simple for now. And as you can see, now we have three tabs. Again, no real interaction is going on. So what we can do is we can either add hotspots on top like this and allow it to click through with adding the interactions. Or we could even go inside the tabs 
and let's say on text click add new interaction on click set panel state for widget actions select the tab state one then the same for image and statistics with a caveat that then you have to change it in every single state because it's the copies but let's do that i mean it's it's quite tedious but i think it's essential so let's say if i copy that and paste it on that as you can see it automatically assigns it and i can just change the state to two and the statistics as well let's say to state to three and then i can just copy the text or just simply replace that text because the position is the same from one state to the other. Now this is a bit more advanced and now I made one error which I'm gonna correct in a bit but if I let's say preview and I click on one of these as you can see changes that. Now the error I made is that I didn't change the dynamic panel of actual triggers I only changed the dynamic panel of this. So the easy fix here could be just adding another line at target dynamic panel, which I didn't name, but it's exactly this one and say state one. Now for second one, it would move to state two. And for a third one, it would move to state, let's say three. And let me just double check that everything is in order. It is. Again, I might just copy the text with the interaction state across because that's quite easy. Like this and like that. Boom. So now it's universal. It's across the panels and the result would look like this. As you can see, that works pretty well, right? Again, you could achieve this just to bulking everything in one uh, kind of panel. It's quite easy to do so, as I showed in the beginning, or you can just take it as you wish. You can assign so many different things and change things, as long as you keep a track of what changes what and you don't make the errors I just did. But I hope this is helpful and you can take some of the logic behind, you know, how to make this prototype happen and make something of your own. Now, if this is too basic, skip a few videos. If you have other ways you could solve tabs, let us know in the comments. Give it a like, I really appreciate it. And see you in the next episode.